Hey guys, Pam here with Craft How again, and we've got another tutorial on creating some basic shapes. So we're learning how to use simple shapes like squares, rectangles, and circles to create more complicated items. I saw this picture on Facebook the other day. Someone was asking about how to make this design. They were having trouble tracing it, and you can see it would be a tough one to trace given the fact that there's like gray and white and black all in the same image. The thing is, you don't have to trace it. You can make stuff like this very, very easily, and that's what this tutorial is designed to help you with today. I am definitely not advocating using other people's designs. I am all about commercial use and making sure that you have permission to use what you need to for the project you're working on. But when you're creating something from scratch, you can use this idea and create your own. Um, and it's not intimidating to do your own designs. And so what I'm trying to do is not teach you how to duplicate something, but more to teach you the techniques that create a shape like this. So let's talk about this shape. Um, it's very symmetrical. All of the lines are about the same thickness. And so I'm choosing a thickness to work on this project of 0.15. And you'll see where that comes in in a few different places. So I'm going to start with some rectangles. There's a rectangle here and a rectangle here. So I'm going to do my vertical rectangle and we are going to make our width 0.15. We already have our point in there, 0.15. And then we are going to make another rectangle to be our crossbar. And again, we want that one to be, in this case, a height of 0.15. And so that's part of our cross right there, our anchor right there. We're going to center those items. And we are going to make our circles for our sidebars here. And so I just want those to be a little bigger. I'm going to hold shift so that we get a nice even circle. And then I'm going to hold alt and copy a copy of that circle. And then I'm going to move this guy off to the side, select these center them and evenly space them and then weld them. So that's our crossbar and then there's our centerpiece. So now we need to do this top and again it's just a couple of circles. So I'm going to create a circle. I'm going to use my offset tool to create an offset of 0.15. We're going to apply that. We're going to make that a compound path and we are going to Put that right about there. And then for the last piece, we're going to make this bottom arch here, which is just a portion of a circle. So we're going to hold shift, draw a circle, make an offset of, again, 0.15. Right click both of those and make them a compound path. I'm going to fill them with black so you can see that it's a compound path now instead of two layers of circles. And then we're going to take our knife tool and then just below center, hold shift and cut that circle apart. And we're going to get rid of the top of it. We're going to get all of these pieces together here. And now we can make our final adjustments. I'm going to make that a little bit narrower. Select everything here and center it. And as long as our pieces are all overlapping just a bit, then everything will weld together properly. Let me unfill this so that you can see that that bar is overlapping. Make sure it's all centered. Select it all, right click, and weld it together. And so we've created our own version of this anchor that is symmetrical, it's all even, and it looks very professional. So all I want you guys to do is to learn that you can look at basic shapes and recreate them pretty simply. And once you get some simple techniques under your belt, it's a lot of fun because you have a whole world of design opening up to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick tutorial on creating some basic shapes. I've got a few more in this series, some a little more simple and some a little more complicated, and I'd be happy for you guys to check them all out. If you have any questions, you can reach me on Facebook, facebook.com slash crafthow. I'm in about a half a dozen silhouette groups, and I'm always happy to help. If you're really stuck on something, shoot me a message and I'll try to put a quick tutorial together to walk you right through it. Hope you had a great day and keep creating.